Watch, Mr. Heavyweight Boxing today. Hey, what's up, man? This is Chris the Nightmare Ariola, and you're watching Mr. Boxing. This is Andrew Ruiz Jr., and you're listening to Mr. Boxing today. Heavyweight boxing fans, what's the deal? All right, man, so it seems as if Luis Ortiz will be fighting Razvan Kanjano. Joe Hanks was the opponent for July 28th, but uh, they have replaced him with Kanjano. Now, Kanjano's the guy's last fight was actually the Joseph Parker fight. Weird circumstances for, for that fight. That was the uh, first, that was the original date Parker was set to fight Huey Fury for the W, uh, or to defend his WBO title against Fury. May of 2017, Fury pulled out, I believe, like 12 or 13 days before the actual fight date. And Parker ended up fighting his primary sparring partner, Kenjano. And they had sparred about 60 rounds during that camp for Fury. And then he ends up fighting his sparring partner. Weird circumstances, all right? So that fight went 12 rounds. Pretty lackluster fight, in my opinion. Uh, Kenjano's a guy, he's a big dude, 6'8", 260 pounds. Uh, he knows how to survive. He'll clinch. Uh, he can move around the ring a little bit. He'll pop the jab. He's he just one of those guys that knows how to survive, man. So I can see this being a boring decision fight. Luis Ortiz pretty much sweeping every round. Or I can see a Donovan, or we may see a Donovan Dennis situation where Dennis, who's a fellow softball, only guy to stop Kanjano. He actually stopped him in that uh, ESPN Boxino tournament in 2015. If you guys remember that uh, Boxino tournament ESPN had. Uh, and it was a left hand right down the pike. Kajano was trying to throw a right. He actually threw a right hand, and he didn't see the uh, left hand coming. And it hurt him real bad. I can see Ortiz landing one of those shots. either to the And either with an uppercut or a straight left or a left hook. Ortiz is surgical with that left hand, especially when he gets going and he's punching and he's walking you down. He can pick you apart. Or you can try to walk him down. He can get you with uppercuts like the way he did Jennings. Uh, good counters like the way he was countering Wilder. Uh, you know, or Ortiz is, is still a really good fighter, in my opinion, man. Even though he lost to Wilder, some people trying to downgrade Luis Ortiz still think he is good. He's a good fighter until further notice of somebody else comes in there and whoops him and proves me different. All right, but uh, I expect Ortiz to win this fight. Now, a lot of people are saying, "Oh, we want to see Ortiz fight Dillian White and, and Parker and all the big names," right? Well, nobody's going to be available on July 28th. This is pretty much just to get in the ring. And then get a big fight going into the end of the year. All right. So either two things can happen. He could be the second guy to knock out Kanjano, right? Parker couldn't do it. Or he'll get some rounds under his belt and, you know, go to distance and get some rounds. All right. So, uh, again, yes, I want to see Luis Ortiz fight Jarrell Miller. No, those, those types of fights are my first choice. But a lot of these guys have fights coming up. He can't fight Dillian White because Dillian White has Parker coming up. All right, now maybe after both these guys get their fights over with, they want to uh, make something for going into the later of this year, then fine. But look, man, if you're telling me, and this announcement came out of nowhere, even the, well, the Joe Hank, well, the announcement for him to be on July 28th card, it came out of nowhere. It literally was just last week. It's like Luis Ortiz going to be on TV July 28th. So do I want to see him in three weeks out of nowhere with, you know, yeah. Or do I want to wait to see him three months from now against somebody that's finally, av that's finally available? Well, yeah, I want to see that, too, but I'd rather see him in action in three weeks from now. You know what I mean? Who doesn't want to see Luis Ortiz, even if it's against a journeyman, to shake some rust off to get prepared for a fight later in the year against a, a viable threat, somebody that's rated in a meaningful fight. All right. So, of course, I want to see him fight the top guys next July 28th, if, if it could happen. But nobody is going to want to take this dude on three weeks notice. Who in the top 10 will take him on three weeks notice? Not too many people. All right. So him little stay busy fight, I'm fine with that. It's when you have multiple stay busy fights in a row is when I have a problem with it. And I definitely don't have a problem with a stay busy fight if you announce it three weeks before the fight. You know what I mean? It's not one of these things where he's announcing this three months before. We're sitting out here and counting down and we're counting down a fight that really doesn't mean anything as far as uh, move him up the ranks. All right. But Kajano hasn't been in there since Parker. He went to full 12. We can, you know, he can play off that. Hey, I stopped on Parker. Couldn't, you know, although Donovan Dennis did stop him, you know, so. Luis Ortiz will be fighting Razvan Kanjano. Joe Hanks is out. Just updating you guys. Let me know what you think in the comment section. I'm gone.